hey guys welcome back so I received some chrome powders and chrome flakes and a base for these uh, from daily charm I purchased these myself but I was so excited to share these with you I love daily charm products they have the most amazing nail art uh, things you can buy so I have a 10% off code which you can see in the top left hand corner so if you want to buy either of these chrome powders or chrome flakes or even the base which is supposed to be the most amazing base for applying these powders I will have that link or those links down in the description so now I'll share the chrome powder and the chrome flakes with you and I will be doing a set of nails on my red iguana practice hand and I'll have that link down in the description as well where you can get the practice hand from because I do have a 10% off code for red iguana practice hands and they're amazing so you might want to check that out too so I'll show you the chromes right now and we'll get started on the design it's okay this is the rose gold as you can see of course they have a little protective little lid and there it is look how pretty that is definitely rose gold so that is the one I will be using today on the design and the other one again is the metallic chrome flakes and this one is in fine and ruby there that is look at how pretty like I said daily charm has the most beautiful high quality products it shows just by the colors and the way they look in their little jars very pretty so now I'm gonna get started on the design okay so I'm gonna start with using Madame Glam's perfect black it is pretty much the most perfect black love this black so I'm gonna do one coat cure for 30 seconds and then I'll do a second coat even though Madame Glam perfect black is just one coat coverage I'm just gonna make sure I get the edges well Okay, so now I'm just going to go over them quickly with that second coat and cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I'm taking Madame Glam Spring Petals, it's called. It's just a really pretty soft pink and such great coverage. I'm just going to have to do one coat of this. This is going underneath the chrome into, in order to get that really nice rose gold chrome. They suggest using a light pink, so I chose this one.
And now I'm going to take the gossip base and put it on top of that pink for the chrome powder and I'll cure it for 50 seconds. They say when you use this base below their chromes, they just don't chip or anything. Uh, if you experience that, they say it's best to buy this base for the chromes for that reason. So I'm going to do a thin coat over it and like I said, I'll cure it for 50 seconds and then you'll see me applying that rose gold chrome from Daily Charm. Wow, look how stunning that is. So pretty, very rose gold. So now I'm going to take this Beauty Big Bang plate that I just had shown you in a previous video, which is in the top right hand corner of the card, and we're going to just review it and see how well this picks up with that Born Pretty Rose Gold stamping polish, and it picks up really well as you could see, and there it is. Oh, again, so pretty, very rose gold. Now I'm just taking my Cure Sky Dip Base and I'm going to apply some crystals to this nail in kind of like a ring pattern down lower. So I'm going to put some of that on and I'm going to take some rose gold, uh, like I said, crystals and apply those. So I'll let you watch me do that. Okay, now that that's finished, I'm going to mat two of the nails, so I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to be putting a shiny Madame Glam No White Top Coat on the other two nails. So now I'm going to take some isopropyl alcohol just to remove the rest of that powder on the skin and to remove that inhibition layer off the uh, matte top coat. Well, I really love how these turned out. I, you can never go wrong wearing rose gold and black. I love how the matte looks with the stamp as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks everybody. Please like and subscribe. Bye.